Okay, I'm going to cover WinLink Express using the sound modem software. And I'm going to start by clicking the Open Session button here next to the drop down that has Packet WinLink because we want to open a packet session. And you'll notice that it opens the sound modem software, which I had already downloaded and installed, um, which is really only one executable that lives in a directory. And in the packet winlink session window here, um, if I click settings, you'll notice that um, on this screen, I have the packet TNC type selected to, uh, for KISS. And then um, the packet TNC mode, I believe these were all, these were defaults here. Um, Serial port is TCP. Since we're not connecting to a physical TNC, and this is a virtual TNC, it's just going to connect uh, right over the computer to, to itself, essentially. So that's the TCP port, the local uh, loopback address, which is 127.0.0.1, and the port is 8100, their defaults. And then this uh, line here is the location of where I have the sound modem software installed, and it'll automatically launch when I open a a packet um, station, you know, setting session, excuse me. I want to click cancel there. Um, so that's why when I clicked the open session up here, it opened up this window and then it launched the sale modem software. So I'm using a rig blaster advantage, which you can see in the screen here. Um, I have this, the, the dials set, um, the transmit delay, the receive delay are both in the 12 o'clock position. They're the first two knobs. The third knob is the Vox delay. I have a set in the nine o'clock position. So with that, um, I'm going to initiate a connection by clicking start. I'm trying to connect the W3DRA-10, which is on this VHF frequency that I'm on right now on the radio, which is 145.070. So I'm going to click start. Um, you're going to hear it initiates a connection. You hear the squeals coming back from W3DRA. It establishes a connection. You can see that in the packet window on the right. Um, it should send a message. You can see the green bar going across. I had a message in the out box. Once it completes the message, you're going to see it disconnect here shortly. Um, if there, since there's nothing to receive, it says disconnecting. And if you look in the window on the left, sound modem software, the nice thing with this software is you could actually use it as a troubleshooting tool because you can see different uh, stations coming back. And in fact, in the bottom of the screen here, you can see there's a... Uh, Whiskey Charlie 2 Kilo-31, that's like, it looks like a digipeter in Hammington, New Jersey, which is uh, a little ways from me in South Jersey. I'm in North, Northern Delaware. But this is nice because this will decode the data coming back on the packet frequency. You could use that kind of for troubleshooting as well. So this successfully sent uh, this message. It would have successfully, successfully received messages as well. Um, now we're going to go through, if we don't have the... Um, settings set correctly on the rig blaster advantage or um, this uh, tigertronics if you're using a signal link box that works similar so i i discovered these settings by a little trial and error and i wanted to um kind of cover that next before we go into that though i wanted to um tell you when i started recording this if you look up in um the settings here under the sound modem you look at devices when I first launched this and tried initiating con a connection, my radio was transmitting. I was hearing audio coming back, but in the sound modem window here, I didn't see any data. And that's because the input device had for some reason changed. I was changing around some microphones here, so it, uh, it probably messed it up. And I had it set to desktop microphone. So it was not able to decode anything coming over the radio through the sound card through the rig blaster because the input device is pointing to the wrong device. So you want to make sure that these are both pointed. In this case, I have a rig blaster. If you had a Tigertronics uh, signal link, you'd see that listed here or a similar USB device. Um, so this is a really good solution if you do not have a physical TNC like a Cantronics KPC3 or, or a similar physical TNC plugged into the computer. And uh, But you do have a USB device that you're using for other digital modes. Uh, this is a this is a good option. So next we're going to cover what you would see if these settings were not set correctly. So we'll cover that here in a minute. So next I wanted to cover what happens if you don't have the settings on the rig blaster set correctly. And the one that I noticed that caused me initial problems was the Vox delay, which is the third knob on the um, device. 
um, to the third to the right. And I have that set to the three o'clock position uh, now, if that were a, obviously if that were a clock. And you'll notice I'm going to click start here and you're going to see um, what, what does not really happen. I'm trying to establish a connection to W3DRA-10. And as you're listening to me transmit or watching the, the Rig Blaster transmit and looking at the sound modem window on the left, um, you'll kind of see what's happening here. So I'm hitting transmit. I'm hitting start. The radio transmits. It stops. Starts transmitting again. Stops. Starts transmitting again. You can see now. Stops. And then it does it one more time. And shortly it should disconnect here without connecting in a minute. Yeah, so it disconnects, and then as it disconnects, now I hear, and you can see in the left-hand window, I see W3DRA-10 um, coming back. But yet, the rig blaster and the software on my end already disconnected. So if you have the Vox delay set uh, too high, um, it just transmits, it'll drop, it'll transmit, drop. You, you, you saw what it was doing there. And then it, it thinks, hey, I'm not able to establish a connection. And then it, um, you can see the station I was trying to, to call heard me calling it because you can see W3DRA-10 is trying to initiate a connection to N3LUD here in the left window in the sound modem window. Um, so that's what I was experiencing when I um, first had this connected. Um, and I don't know why I put it in the Vox delay so high. Initially, I might have had it in a different position. And then I started backing off on it, backing off on it. And then um, I found the decent position was the 9 o'clock position. But uh, let's try it next. Um, I'm going to change it here, just put it up in the 12 o'clock position. And let's initiate another connection and then see if this, see if it, 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 it has any different effect on it. So I realized W3DRA dash 10 is still transmitting here let's let's wait until that stops and then we'll try this again so now we're going to initiate a connection with the dials all at 12 o'clock and see if this makes a difference and you can see that actually did connect as well so I don't think there's going to be much difference between having that Vox delay in the 9 o'clock position or the 12 o'clock position. But we'll see shortly how it um, functions. Yeah, it still might be a little high. N3LUD is trying to reach out to W3DRA, and it looks like it established a connection, and you can see we had the welcome message there, but I don't know that it's going to be able to negotiate if it has any data to send or receive. Um, and then you see the other station there from Hamilton, New Jersey pipe in because they're on the same frequency, but um, that audio sounds a little different. So in this, in this setting, it looks like in the 12 o'clock position, the computer on my side is trying to establish a connection. Um, W3DRA is, is responding, and then I'm responding back, but it's, it, I think the delay is just still a little too much that's causing, a, causing an issue here. So I'm going to, so I don't tie up that RMS station, I'm just going to stop this because I don't want this to eventually, time. it'll eventually probably time out. But I'm just going to I'm just going to push stop so that it stops here, and then it should disconnect here shortly. All right, so I'm going to just put the switch on the on the rig blaster. I'm going to take it out of the Vox position so it doesn't key the radio up, because it looks like the uh, software on my side was still trying to initiate a connection. So I put the Vox switch off and you can see it did, it did disconnect so let's dial this back a little bit to maybe the 10 o'clock position put the vox back on and let me initiate another connection let's see what it does here so you can see that it is initiating a connection 
I connect to W3 DRA, and then right away it's able to negotiate if it has to send data or receive data. You can see that in the in the packet um, windlink session here on the right hand side, this part of the screen. So you can see uh, some information coming back from the RMS station uh, to N3 LUD. And let's say it, let's see if this negotiates and it, yep, it says ending session, zero cent, and then it should disconnect here shortly. Um, I still think I like it better kind of in the nine o'clock position, um, but it does, you can see there's not much difference between the nine and 10 o'clock position. I'll just dial it back to the nine o'clock position. But what I wanted to show you here is just uh, how these different settings affect um, what you actually see. I'm not going to mess with the transmit um, or the receive the first two the first two dials. I just kind of kept them in the 12 o'clock position to begin with, and um, I don't really think that made made too much of a difference in in my case. Um, it might in other in other situations, but in my case, it did not. I seem to have just issues right away with that Vox delay. So I wanted to just record a short little video here in case anyone else is trying to do something similar um, that might, might have run into that problem. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this video. So give Winlink RMS Express a try, uh, as well as the sound modem software. If you're looking to get away from a physical TNC and you want to try um, a software solution, this has been working out really well for me. And um, I think you'll enjoy it. Thank you very much for watching, and 73 from N3LUD in Delaware.